All right. Uh, for our mattress, we are this, um, going to use the staple instead of um, just sewing to the cushion. This is the uh, three quarter inch board and a four inch thick uh, high density foam. This is real, real, very firm. And um, let's see how it comes out. Okay, looks good. But let's see if it fits in the van. It's a final touch up you guys. I need some I need space to store these uh, removable uh, table legs. So I see the little room right there on top of the microwave. I think we can utilize that space. Let's see what I can do. Alright you guys, finally this van is done. I'm so excited to show you. But first, we are going to, to do a functionality test. We're going to test the, the instant hot water and the external shower to make sure that the hot water is running nicely, uh, instantly hot and the, all the electrical plugs are working before we take the delivery. And then um, my bed system. I'll show you how I, I build this, this bed. And at last, the video of all the amenities, I'm gonna play and show it to you. So, let's get started. So, you can see there's a 33 gallons of, of fresh water tank. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna use this container to put that water. And here's the quick connect. Of course, you can get any a quick connect or extension of the hose if this is too short. We're gonna plug it in right here. Okay. The uh, water pump switch is up in the front. We will get to that. And this, this is a shutoff switch right here. We have one main shutoff switch here. And the way it works, as long as there's a 1.6 PSI pressure running through that it will ignite and then heat up the water right away so let's turn it off and turn it on whoa back there <laughs> I didn't connect it all the way but look this is good actually because we put this is for the waterproof. We'll clean that up later. It's not going anywhere. Try it again. Okay. And let's turn on. See how long it takes. Coming. Okay, it's getting warm. Oh yes. Right away, it's already warm. Already warm. Perfect. Oh, it's getting hot. Okay, now we have outside shower or wash off or whatever. Right? Bus, you want to be in the video? Come here. Bus, come here. Come here. Come here. Bus wants to play with water. Hmm? Okay. It is good. Let's shut it off. There you go. I'll switch right here. And release that pressure before we... Oh, where's the... There we go. And this quick connect. See how easy that is?
Okay, electrical. We have on the roof, there are three 100 watts energy solar panels. So that is total 300 uh, watts of solar. Controlled by um, a 20 amp MPPT uh, energy uh, rover as well, a controller. And then a 3000 watts um, uh, power inverter also by energy. Under, underneath there, there are four AGM sealed deep cycle batteries. Those are designed for solar. Each one has 125 amps. That makes it total of uh, 600 amps of um, battery powers as well. So let's test our uh, plug. So this um, with this power you can run um, uh, induction stove. You can run microwave, which which we have here. You can also run uh, a tea kettle. And just for now, I don't have all that. I'm going to test with our vacuum to just to make sure. Because we need to do some vacuum anyway. And just a quick vacuum test. There. Okay, the bad design. Uh, this is a four-inch um, high-density foam, it's very firm. It's the uh, there are three different kinds. I think that there's a luxury, there's a medium. This is the luxury one. I don't know if it's a different. It sounds good. Uh, we uh, staple it. We wrap it around and staple it with, uh, into a three-quarter inch uh, board underneath. And we decided to wrap it all around uh, because uh, to avoid uh, if it's uh, the van is uh, shaking or something, and it it makes you know the squeaky noise. So to do that, um, it will avoid that sound. Um, the support the the on both side, I'm using E track. This this is four inches E track. Don't don't ask me why. Everybody's talking about L track. Uh, this is E track, the same one that they, they use for the cargo tie down van. I've seen somebody's using it, uh, but they they um, they use a two by four uh, inch wood to make the beam across. I don't like it because it's uh, it's too bulky. And I found these frames on eBay. Okay, they're cheap, and these are also a, be a bed frame support. That's what they call bed frame support. And then um, it's two pieces telescoping. Okay, you can extend that up to uh, I don't know seventy something inches. Okay, so uh, and on each end it's flat that you uh, and there's a hole uh, you can. Uh, screw to uh, to, um, to keep it uh, from moving but instead of that the e-track I kind of make a slit so that it um, this will slide into it kind of tight lock in place and I also um, let, let me show you I drill a hole right here and put a bolt with wing nut across to tie it so it doesn't slide back in and out so that to guarantee that it's not coming off from the wall and also I'm using this um, bracket here to hold the, the, the bed to secure it and then at the end here I am uh, using a a uh, one inch square aluminum tubing 
to support it just in case you know you want to somebody decide to sit back here to enjoy the scenery and that will support that will hold um, the weight and this is the uh, rubber coin floor um, we decided to use it uh, it looks nice clean and it's not slippery and it's waterproof we can just toss things in here or, or ice chest in here and we just drag it don't worry about scraping the hardwood floor this is our uh, fresh water inlet for the tank on this corner of the bed we have a light switch here this is for the uh, spotlight security light on the on the roof and we have a 3.0 uh, USB charger here at the doorstep here we added a double sensor light this is just uh, for security or safety in case you are out about at night and uh, you come back in just open the sliding door it will light up for you automatically and then here we have the base for the swivel table uh, this is the inverter uh, switch on and off this is the uh, water pump uh, switch and on the wall here we have another 3.0 USB and a 110 uh, receptacle plug right here this here is the main power switch if you have to leave the car or you want to shut everything down this is the main switch right here that shuts uh, all the electrical except except the car except the the, the uh, house battery which is the engine battery and this will uh, shut everything off right next to the uh, solar charge control we have all these switches here that is for the ceiling the LED the rear the spotlight and everything else on here and also our uh, battery monitor up here the front half of the bed is collapsible just like this okay when you want to make a bed just bring it up there are two locks one on each side and uh, it makes into a big bed and also right here there's an, this uh, the two pieces of cushion that goes here being sold right now and right here you can put a swivel table and this is your it can be your um, uh, relaxing area or a, a, a dining area whichever and also when the bed is up this area here can sleep another person if you're five feet five six uh, you fit this way okay it's a, a 26 inch width and the same type of cushion uh, four inches high so yes you can sleep down here and I will show you how to put the bed up okay it's very quick and easy one on this side lock and one on the other side in front here I put another uh, aluminum tubing this is another one inch aluminum tubing tubing with a stainless steel screw to help support the front side of the bed okay also yeah, as you've seen already our microwave is down here that was another uh, that was uh, another idea of um, instead of going outside uh, have a microwave pull out to the outside we can just um, do it this way we don't have to go outside use the microwave and accessible to the garage we meant to do that way if you need to you know get something from inside the garage it's 
easy, wide open right here. Okay, let's talk about the van. All right, uh, this van is belongs to my brother. It is a Mercedes Sprinter 144 wheelbase. It's a 2018 model. Okay, the way he wants is, um, he be, because this is a, a crew van, so behind the camera there's a bench seat, and whatever we build here is behind the bench seat, which not a lot of room to work with. Okay, he wants. Uh, a place to to um, accommodate to sleep three adults and a child okay in case uh, the kids want to borrow okay and a lot of room for uh, a lot of storage room okay that's why the uh, we want to build a stand-up shower so that when it's not being used he can put all the luggages in there and a lot of other stuff in there okay because when we book <laughs> when we go camping my brother loads up he loads a lot of things in it <laughs> talking about my bro brother <laughs> okay and um underneath the 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 uh the bed okay that's why we want a big space big storage sp space underneath the bed he likes it because his wife loves to cook. Okay, every time we go on a trip, we go camping, she wants to cook to make sure everybody is fed. Okay, you can come along with us. <laughs> it's a lot of food. Every time we go, yes, she packs a lot of food for everybody. That's why big storage space is good. Okay. And in addition, I have the uh, storage for uh, about the the uh, captain. Um, it can you know it's big enough to to uh, put blankets and sheets up there, and there's another cabinet next to it, and this is an additional cabinet to it. So there's plenty of storage rooms here. enough clearance okay let's talk let's uh, take a look at the shower the shower is the uh, 24 by 27 size it's nothing fancy this is vinyl and it has a retractable door That's all it is. Enjoy the rest of the video, everybody. I hope you learned something from it. You had get some idea from, from this build. If you're building your own van. And there are more van builds coming up. Beautiful van builds coming up. We have to finish that next one because there's a trip coming up. We have to make it. Uh, we have to take that van to the next trip. It's going to be beautiful scenery, fishing, hiking, following me along. Don't forget, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.